good to meet you priyanka good to meet you madhivanan madhivanan uh, tell me why uh, you know it's important for uh, platforms like pafter to celebrate uh, creators technicians artists from all aspects of cinema in and not just uh, you know the actors or say the faces that are so popularly known already okay i think um, one is of course the uh, i mean there's so much that goes on behind making any media piece and i think it's becoming increasingly sophisticated the number of things that are happening behind the scenes like uh, uh, the, it's the different connections and the um uh, the different platforms that put, you know like this that put people together allow for more kind of interesting work to happen um so that's definitely a part of it uh, besides that i think of course there's no doubt actors of course get way more of the limelight most of the time and it's fine it's fair but i think uh, having this allows us to uh, talk about more the, the intricacies of what we are working on and uh, to know that there are other people who may be working in similar you know areas other producers etc really helps i think that's good and of course i think the idea of a collect i mean every platform like uh, is a great space to like boost or amplify a set of voices so i think uh, uh, bafta breakthrough is one of those examples something that can collectively uh, echo what's happening you know in the last year and uh, you know with the uh, bafta breakthrough uh, india celebrating emerging talent such as yourself uh, do you also uh, you know does it serve as a motivation for you also to do better or does it bring thoda sa pressure also that oh uh, now i must do better is that also a part of it no i think the pressure is always on internally anyway so i think <laughs> this is actually a validation so in fact i think it's kind of eases down the pressure uh, it's a bit like is moving sometimes like a blind horse it's just going 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 and then yeah. sometimes you're like am i actually running the right uh, direction and then yeah. a thing like this kind of helps you to be like actually yeah this is this is the the decisions that you've made are, uh, are are in the right space so i think there's no pressure at all it's only okay. excitement great and uh, tell me as a uh, as a producer as part of the you know uh, creating cinema and entertainment uh what is the one would you say challenge of being in the digital age of cinema and what is the one great thing about it i, I, I hate saying this but it's a connection of the two the challenge and the opportunity are the same is the fact okay. that we are now working in an environment where they, we are truly multimodal right like mm-hmm. like we are consuming a film of for, which is adapted into a game which is adapted into a podcast which is you know being turned into some digital asset it's all happening together which means that all makers have to think a lot more and especially producers have to think about all of these modes of producing when they are making their content so which means that the amount, it's not only the knowledge but it's also the um uh, sort of it. sorry In- how to multiply it multiply it yeah yeah and right now i would say that you can't just be good at one thing you have to know like at least a little bit about how a game i mean a game would work like you have to probably know what unreal is you have to if there's a podcast you have to know at least where it's being built on so all of yeah. this sort of this expansion is there and that can be challenging but that's great that's the opportunity that we have to connect with our audiences in so many different ways and there is no longer one way to tell a story a telefilm and there is also there are also many homes like you know before it used to be at least if I mean, till a few years back okay if you did not make it into the theatrical window that was it it is done but yeah. now you could find a little how home in movie you could be on shutter doing horror uh yeah. you know you could be anywhere so i think that um has empowered a lot of us actually um mm-hmm. and uh, I, i think that, that like i said it's sort of a challenge and an opportunity this truly transmedia universe that we are yeah. uh, living in uh but uh, if i uh, you know if i were to ask you uh, does that ever bring the question of do you choose quality story or do you choose something that can transcend into these multiple mediums you know uh, or does a good story today only mean something that can actually be built across it's a great question i think um at least in my limited experience in the last couple of years working in in the transmedia space i would say that if the source material if the creator truly has you know something rich it can transcend like it is uh, it, it 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 can really multiply because it is so rich so i think for all of us it is about being able to chase 
identify and curate that source, right? We have to yeah. find those people as producers who have that rich uh, base of content or a rich expression that can, and, and it's our job as producers to show those avenues in which uh, it can be multiplied. So I think it's about us being able to chase that and find that out. Um, and having said that, I must say sometimes there is full value in a, in a you know, in something being a small film alone, like a, a short film alone. It does not necessarily have to cut through a million, you know, be adapted for the sake of adaptation. Uh, it can in itself have its own impact. Before I let you go, I do have to ask you if there are like there are so many more people now who want to get into this industry, who want to uh, learn more about it. What are the if you have any uh, couple of tips that you'd like to share with them? Oh, wow, this is great. Uh, I mean, some may sound super philosophical, but I think it's um, you know couple of things one is that skills are overrated i think like it's not about learning a skill to be able to do it i think it is about knowing where and why i mean why you're doing it that is really important so i would encourage every filmmaker to like sort of uh, producer anyone to think about why they are doing this uh, you know that the film they're doing it it cannot be for a superficial idea of i mean uh, you know a quick uh, hit of like yeah. You know, money or like feeling good about yourself in your social circle because that kind of like winds down to really understand your editorial line and be like this is what I stand for is really important and I think forming that is really important. the skill is something that will come along the way and number two definitely to surround yourself with people in uh in a, uh, around people who are having the conversations that you want to have that's such great advice thank you awesome thank you so much Priyanka thank you Bye-bye.